Hey there once again, it's me, June Salad. Welcome to another um, another episode of Pageant Talks, and we are now in season three. And the first ever Miss Universe contestant I'm interviewing is, you know, coming from a very beautiful island, which is very close to my heart, Aruba. Miss Universe Aruba, Tessaly Zimmerman. Hi, Tessaly. Hi, everyone. So nice well, to meet you. Yeah, and I'm 12 hours away. I'm from, I'm in Manila, and you're in Aruba. You're back in Aruba. So how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Feels good to be back on the island. I returned back home from New York, a trip of 11 days. I arrived back on Thursday. So that was a really nice experience also over there, being able to shoot with Fadil, yeah. walking the New York Fashion Week. So that was really nice. Yeah. So can you please tell us briefly, how, how does it feel um, being uh, photographed by a very world-renowned photographer like Fadil? Well, that, it really felt it was such an honor to be able to shoot with him. I didn't think that it would be able to happen or I knew it would happen at Miss Universe, but before that, I didn't think it would. So that was a really nice opportunity also to learn from him and the whole experience, knowing like what my thought is and not what else to do. So that was really nice to be able to shoot with him. And he's such a lovely person also, and he gives you like great tips and everything. So I'm definitely going to remember those for the next photo shoots that are upcoming. Yeah, and um, correct me if I'm wrong, you also met with Lou Sierra, right? Correctly, yes. Yes. How was it? What did you guys do? (laughs) Yeah, that was also such a nice experience. Like, I met her only online, and then when I was in New York, I met her face-to-face for, like, some training, the runway, interviews. So that was a really good and experience, you know, to like brush up on like things that I didn't either know yet or I needed to um, master. So that was really good. So how does it feel that, you know, you're um, you're representing your beautiful island in, in Eilat, Israel, Eliat, Israel? Well, that feels super nice. I mean, it's, it's something that I've wanted for quite some time already. I went to study abroad with the goal of like earning my bachelor's degree and coming back to Aruba to represent Aruba as supposed to, you know, um, very proud of being Aruban and just like, I'm look, super looking forward to it. <laughs> so how have your preparations uh, been so far? They've been good. It's a, it's a busy, it's a busy uh, time period right now, especially with December being around the corner. Yeah. So we're like busy with projects, social projects, busy with traveling busy with like photo shoots, um, makeup classes, runway classes, you know, a bit of everything to be ready and polished by December at Mm -hmm. Miss Universe. And yeah, part of the whole preparation part was also going to New York. So now we're like busy with our next projects to see like, okay, where are we going next? Or are we just going to focus on staying here and like mastering everything? Or yeah, so it's, it's a busy period. Yeah, I love your energy, Tessaly. I mean, you know, you are so filled with, filled with so much joy, and I feel like you're going to make a lot of friends at Miss Universe. So, before we go to the formal questions, um, tell us more about yourself, Tessa, and what makes you special. Well, I would like to hope that what makes me special is like, as you say, you know, like my energy and what I radiate towards others, and when I just by being myself actually i i do that and that's what i love to hear because that's what i want to portray also you know and i'm very positive like very um energetic i'm always smiling happy and like i want to make other people also like happy in the sense of like you know like it doesn't cost anything to smile and sometimes all that people need is a smile because that really like I don't know, it gives them that energy and that like little boost that like when they were sad or something that they're like, oh, look at that person smiling, so nice. And they're like, oh, I'm going to smile also. Yeah. So that's something that I really think that makes me special. Uh, A bit about me also, like my, I started modeling in 2010. I did a modeling competition here in Aruba. It's called Aruba's Model Search. I was in the top seven. From there on out, I kept on modeling. And two years later, my um, yeah, my pageant coach, he contacted me. He's like, yeah, would you like to go for Miss Teen Aruba? Yeah. And then I asked my mom and my parents, and they were like, yes. I mean, as long as you maintain your school grades good and don't stop anything you are doing with now, it's fine. 
So they let me go for Miss Tina Aruba International, where I won the title of Miss Tina Aruba International. Mm. And then I represented Aruba in El Salvador for at Miss Tina Americas, where I was first runner up. And yeah, so that was then where the whole pageant trajectory has um, begun. Uh, on the side of being into pageants, I played tennis since the age of six wow. until like 18. So I was always a very active kid a very active teenager like busy 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 in between i also danced for like six years in high school so being busy is like part of my nature it's like just like <laughs> being busy there's no like in between <laughs> <laughs> so when did you um you know the lord just impressed to my heart before i'll answer that i asked that question like when did you get this kind of revelation that you need to um do all of these things like what was that instant that um, you just realized that, hey, I want to do this, I want to be like this? Like, take us back to that moment. I think both. I was an only child for uh, 11 to 12 years. Mm. So being busy was always nice because I didn't have any little siblings around or an older sibling around then to um, to play with and be at home with. So I, I, I always felt like, okay, like more activities, you know, if and it's really good to put your kids into like sports or um, arts, uh, anything creative for them to like get to know themselves, explore, see what they like. Yeah. And I think my parents did that well. So they also pushed me to, you know, try different things, see what you like. And I think, yeah, I like different things. So I always was like, okay, I kind of want to start dancing now. So let's try that out in the meantime. And yeah, I also actually did track and field. When wow. I was <laughs> Yeah, I tried different things. Wow, you're so prolific. Wow. <laughs> and you know what? I bet you would, I wouldn't be surprised if your next project will be about being a role model to the youth. Um, are you doing yeah. something like that right now? I'm not doing that as yet, but I do have it in the planning to fit it into my schedule to make that happen. Like, I do feel like that's something really important, you know, like to be a role model for the youth and like just, but also showing them like, a person just as normal as anyone what that person can also achieve by just like hard work dedication and really putting your mind to something you know like anybody can achieve a title or a diploma or anything as long as you have that like hard working determination right you can get there yeah i can see god's love and god's glory in you and it really is manifesting and i'm just really blessed by your life Tessaly. i mean you know you. um i haven't really asked so much of so much questions but really you're putting a smile into my face so let me ask you this the lord impressed to my heart to ask you this what is your definition of love what is my definition of love well my definition of love would be happiness because with love in your life you're always happy and you radiate that also that happiness to others love is love can be for anything it can be for your pet it can be for your family it can be for your loved one it can be for your friends you know love is around us in so many ways like the love i have for like competing in pageants and doing things you know and it's always important to do things also with love yeah. so I, that's how i would explain love wow <laughs> wait, wait i'm just wondering how do you keep up with this kind of energy because i'm so inspired to like keep like, you know be energized i'm doing a lot of things you know i shared to you earlier right what i do currently do right now so <laughs> how do you maintain this <laughs> This kind of energy, you are really making my evening, you know, as we are talking. So, do you drink special vitamins or are you just really inspired? <laughs> I actually don't. I, my fashion coach always tells me, like, from the minute you leave your house and the minute you enter back, it's game time, you know? And it's just... <laughs> So it's like as soon as I hit the bed, then I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm now I'm gone. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, time yeah, to sleep, yeah. <laughs> recover for the next day. Yeah. And yeah, but other than that, it's really like I'm doing what I love, so I don't have to like pretend or anything. So you know, even if I'm tired, which I I am most of the time, you know, but like I'm really busy with something that I'm like I'm interested in and I'm passionate about. So. I don't need to look for the energy. It just comes naturally. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So, yeah, I just want to let you know that God is so proud of you and keep up the good work and continue what you do and he will show you the way after. Okay. So, 
Gosh, Tessalie, I really need your energy. If you could just teleport Thank right you. now. <laughs> Can you just come here? <laughs> yeah. And we'll have like a, a conversation until I fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, I really love your skin color. Um, can we you. exchange skin colors, please? <laughs> like, I can send you some. I can send you some. Yeah, I've been dying to get some melanin because like we've been yeah. quarantined for a long time now. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. You, you get it. You get what I, where I am right now, right? So yes, I totally I really, do. Yeah, because I've had conversations with some beauty queens in the Cayman Islands, and I said, oh my goodness, I love your skin. I really want a part of your skin. Can you, can you just give that to me? <laughs> so yeah, so by the way, I love colored women, and I really yeah. adore you guys. For me, you guys are so beautiful. Um, I have no biases though, but I really love yeah. colored women. So please send me some <laughs> of that melanin. I yes. really want that, yeah, because it's with so, that energy. Yeah, and um, you know what? Um, it's really so hard for me to get a tan because, like, you know, especially during the COVID pandemic, because like I don't get to go to the beach. But of course, I'm not naturally tanned like you, and you're born yeah. with skin. It's so beautiful, like you know. Um, they always say that it's it's better on the other side of the or the pasture or green pasture, but. Yeah. But I, I don't agree. I mean, I would love your skin color. But anyway, we'll talk about more of that soon. So let's go to the Q&A <laughs> challenge. <laughs> I, I am blabbering because I'm just, you know, I'm just inspired by your energy. You're so contagious. And I hope that you do that all the time. So are you ready for the Q&A challenge so that we could catch up after? Are you ready? Yes. Okay. So I took questions from the 2002 Miss Universe pageant. Here's your first question. If you were to recommend a book, to someone, what would that be and why? Um, well, it's a book that I've recently read about. Um, I'm not sure if I'm saying the name of the book correctly, but the book that I would recommend for someone would be, um, I think it's called Black Unicorn. It's from Tiffany Haddish. She's an actress and she tells her story of like how she made it from basically nothing to uh known artist like a known actress you know and she's a very like real person she's super funny like i love her and um she just tells you like everything that she's been through what she's learned from it her experience like you know what she's had to sacrifice and that's a book that i would recommend you know for anybody who if you ever have doubt in the yourself that you won't be able to make it or that it's something is not possible yeah i think that's really nice and like funny book to to read also yeah wow okay so i'm sorry but i got the questions from the 2005 miss universe okay so i don't want to okay. offend any any pageant fans so question number two what one failure in your life that you learned the most from what failure in life i've learned the most from yeah okay. um well i think let's see from during my studies I failed a few years and I think it was really important for me to not feel defeated and know like, okay, when you fall, it's important to get yourself back up. And that's something that like, I really like kept telling myself and like, I really had to like, you know, put it in my mind that it's okay. You know, we all have a different time clock and it's okay to not be the same as someone else and we shouldn't be comparing to anybody else because we all have our own time and we all do things differently we learn differently and i think that's something that was really important like you know for me that was I, that felt for me as a big failure because I, I felt like i was disappointing the people around me and myself of course and i had to really think like okay it's not only about them but it's also about your own personal happiness and being able to grow from that yeah, and God doesn't see it that way, you know. I was just reminded by what he told me also that we should not put our significance through rankings because the world will define us, but it's not how God sees us. So, Tessany, yeah. you are valuable, you are loved, and you are significant regardless, okay? So, whether or not you feel that you're not good, but in our eyes, you're beautiful and you're great, okay? So, keep that in mind, all right? So, yes. let all of these <laughs> challenges inspire you to do better, but it doesn't mean that you're a failure, okay? So, yes. number three, um, okay, so... I'm a man. So what can man or men learn most from women? What can I learn from you, Tessaline? Well, 
I think women are very strong um, human beings. And I agree. Women go I really agree. Yeah. W- women go through a lot through the whole like day, year, week life, basically. You know, we have to work harder sometimes to prove ourselves that we're just as worthy as men. We have to, we have to deal with like um, the pain gap. We have to deal with like sexism. We have to deal with so many things and to see that we still fight and we're not giving up for that equal rights just as men. Um, I think that's like something that men can really learn from, you know, like how hardworking we are and how we don't just give up and how we don't just complain because like we're women or anything. Like yeah. we are strong, independent women that are just fighting for our same rights as men do. And that's something that they can learn from and also appreciate. Yeah, you don't have to convince me because, you know, I love you guys. <laughs> and uh, I have been, you know, learning a lot from women as of late as I turn a year now uh, with my pageant vlogging. And you guys are just so amazing. And I'm so blessed by God to really be oriented with the, you know, excellent, very beautiful women. You guys have a lot to give. And most men, they don't have any idea that the things that you guys go through yeah. so yeah <laughs> so but there are little things also we have to do with every every month yeah, you know <laughs> i know and and you know women they only respond to how men treat them you know and and more conversations so about that soon Cecily. but i love you okay so you will get there and i pray that you'll find that man who will treat you right and who would yeah. respect you and love you okay so Number four, all right. What is the biggest challenge in your life? What is the biggest challenge in my life? Well, I think every day has its own challenges, you know? Um, The biggest challenge would be... The biggest challenge, I guess, would be right now then is like me competing at the Miss Universe pageant, you know? There are like so many beautiful women, intelligent, and they're bringing so much to the table for themselves but also for their country and for me it's important you know like to represent my country the best as possible and to like make them proud and I think that's like a really big challenge because there are going to be so many women and so many and you're not sure what they're looking for you know you're just hoping you have that special thing that they're looking for at the end of the day but yeah that's a quite challenging because you can't see the future and you know, I'm a planner, so for me, it's that's that's a quite challenge to know, like, okay, what's gonna happen next, and like, what's this opportunity gonna bring? And uh, yeah, I think that would be like right now my biggest challenge. Yeah, and take it from me, after ZZ Lee, you're the most uh, beautiful Miss Aruba as of late. Oh, thank so, you. Yeah, take thank it from you. me. All right. So, and this is the reason why you're in my vlog. <laughs> and I really ask Carlo, Carlo, please, I really want an interview with Tessa Lipisa. I love you. And I saw your picture and I was like, wow, she's really beautiful. And you're more beautiful in motion. I encourage you, Tessa Lee, to have like um, more social media content when you're speaking because like you have so yes. much to give. And yeah. I want, I, I mean, I would love for your energy to like, you know, to be shown more to people. And yes. you're very, very charming when you speak more than when you just, you know, post on pictures. Okay. So, all right. So we'll take do. it from <laughs> me. All right. You're the most beautiful. Yes, I will, I will. As, of late, as of lately. So, okay. Last question. Okay. This is one I took from the 2002 Miss Universe pageant. What makes you blush? What makes me blush? Ooh, I think... I think compliments always make me blush. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, as, as honest as possible. That's compliments do make me blush because then I'm like, you know, out of especially when it comes out of nowhere and like sometimes other people see things that you yourself don't see, and then that's really nice to hear. You know, like oh, like I don't know, for example, the energy thing. You know, comment. That's really nice to hear because I'm not doing it on purpose or anything. And it's really nice that other people can see that and like they appreciate that and they they love that. So for me, that's really nice. And like, I just blush about it. And then I just keep on laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's really hard to take compliments, right? Cause like, it's really, we're not used to it, but yeah. know that um, nothing is too much to ask for Tessaly and get used to receiving compliments. Okay, starting from now and ask the Lord to prepare your heart for it. Because, it's, because it really builds you up and you have to really yeah. get used to it, okay? So, 
Cecily, before I ask you the golden question, um, how young are you? I just turned 27 a week ago. Oh, wow. Happy birthday. I thought you were 19 you. or 21. You yeah, have the kind of... It's not just about the physical, you know, car, or the physical attribute that you have, but it's really more of your, of your spirit. I feel like God has been really loving you, blessing you, and you have the revelation yeah. of God's love. I'll pray for you later off the record. Okay, so the golden question, Tessaly, why should you be the next Miss Universe? Yeah, Miss Universe winner and avenge Zizi Lee for me. Why? <laughs> <laughs> First of all, to avenge Zizi Lee. Yes. <laughs> no, I think I think um, I think that I should be the next Miss Universe because this universe gives you a platform to just be yourself, but also be a role model to the youth, to women out there around my age, also, and everyone who who believes in the Miss Universe pageant. Also, I get to speak about like mental health. Mental health is a platform that I really feel dear to. And I want to like create more awareness and bring more awareness and like tell people more about it and like my situation and talk about other people's their situation. And also just like being able to do things that make a difference and that matter. Those are like really important for me. And like, I think with Miss Universe, I will have the opportunity to do so. And I can't wait to be able to make a difference out there, you know? I'm really excited for you. You know what? I'm really, I'm going to take a close look uh, on your, uh, on the pageant and you'll be expecting coverages from me. Okay. And okay. I'm just wondering, don't, is it your organization? Doesn't, uh, doesn't it have a, an Instagram account or I've been looking for it. Um, not as yet. They don't have one as yet, but the fan page really covers like a lot of the things that I'm up to. We okay. have the Miss Universe Aruba fan, fan page and Miss Aruba fan page. So okay. those are the two ones that we have like contact with sometimes and that like they cover basically everything sometimes really? even before <laughs> I do. <laughs> so I'm like, whoa! Okay, can you, send, come from? <laughs> can you send me the link so that I could, you yeah. know, be a part of that fan page and be updated yeah. with this journey? Okay, so, Tessaly, before I let you go, any messages of love to the Filipinos? Because you are in contact with one of my friends, so, who's been helping you in your journey. So, any messages of love? Yes, I love you guys. I really, really hope to, like, visit you guys soon. Like, it is in the planning somewhere next year. So I really hope I can visit you guys. Like I always see like so much love from the Filipino community and it would be such an honor to make you guys happy also and be able to visit you guys one day. Okay, so yeah, guys. Wow, that was a very beautiful episode. Oh my goodness. Um, thank you so much, Tessaly, for, you know, gracing our blog and thank you so much for, you know, being the light at the end of the tunnel for, for my day to day as a recording. So you guys don't know what I went through today. So Tessaly just really made me so happy. So guys, thank you so much and continue to support Tessaly at the Miss Universe um, competition. Uh, of course, not just on in the actual pageant, but before that too, you can follow her on Instagram and make sure to follow, like, and subscribe to my social media accounts if you just want to. But thank you so much again for tuning in and I'll see you on the next episode of Pageant Talks with me, Gina Salas, season three. So, bye. Bye.